Every day in Microcross, we'll be giving you an insight into what's going on in China. And when Americans are dying to know about this country's unique culture that's trending in cyberspace. So let's start off with our first question. What did Chinese think about the HSBC bank letting customers keep extra money dispensed from a malfunctioning ATM in England? Recent news that has caused quite the stir on the Chinese web is the case of the malfunctioning HSBC ATM in England that dispensed twice the amount of cash its users withdrew for two hours. Over that period of time, 200 people used the machine, with many of them called by previous users and some even using up to six different ATM cards. And the strangest part of the story? Well, the Hong Kong-based bank HSBC let them all keep the money, despite catching them on security cameras and ATM records. Let's see what Chinese netizens thought of the case. Degenerate British, it's necessary to immediately correct your mistake. They should arrest those lowly people who took the money and sentence them to life imprisonment without the possibility for parole. When it happens in England, you don't have to return it. When it happens here, you get sentenced to life. Well, in China, if an ATM dispenses counterfeit money, the bank is not responsible. If there's internet banking theft, the depositor is responsible. If the ATM has a malfunction and dispenses too much money, the depositor is held responsible, charged with theft, and sentenced to life. If the bank dispenses too little money, the bank is not responsible if you left the ATM. They have records, video material, and they still won't ask for the money back. What kind of bank is this? If I were an HSBC customer, I would tell them I feel unfairly treated because my local ATM doesn't do this. It's miserable that people went there specifically to get easy money and then are not even punished in any way. Everyone likes money, but for 200 people to have done this is pretty discouraging. Apart from ethics, this is just a stupid thing to do. Do they think they couldn't be caught? Was it really safe to assume that the bank wouldn't press charges? As you can see, many Chinese netizens were outraged at the outcome of the ATM malfunction. One reason for their anger is the 2006 case of migrant worker Xu Ting, a migrant worker in Guangzhou province who withdrew 175,000 RMB from a similarly malfunctioning ATM. Instead of being allowed to keep the money, though, he was sentenced to life in prison for so-called stealing state-owned money. Due to a widespread public outcry, his sentence was reduced to five years, but still not nearly as good a deal as keeping it all, right?